new thread from Carlos Asuita. For at Charles Jones fan, when I'm talking about the Chinese army, Charles butts in with a silly attempt to blame Donald Trump for something that didn't happen. Charles says Trump had three years to fix the stockpile issue and didn't. He allowed the contract to lapse. Nobody holds him responsible. In Jan, he should have checked the stockpile and started ordering mass when he realized there was a problem, but he didn't do that until mid-March. Carlos responds. Charles has no idea how the strategic national stockpile is maintained. He thinks a contractor maintains it. In fact, the division of the strategic national stockpile, DSNS, of the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response, ASPR, of the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, maintains it. Trump transferred the SNS from the CDC to HHS. I've said this until I was blue in the face. There was not enough equipment on Earth to handle COVID-19. As Trump said, we've already emptied and replenished the strategic national stockpile twice. Charles is simply repeating a mainstream media talking point. The reason Trump moved the stockpile from the CDC to HHS is that this freed up the CDC to do other things. If you look at the funding for the SNS, it goes up 29% from 2017 to 2021. Here's another thing that Charles, the Democrats, and the press don't know. The, divi the Division of the Strategic National Stockpile estimates how much spending will be required to keep the SNS fully stocked. They submit changing requests based on forecasts. The SNS doesn't have a one-size-fits-all number of items and medications. To understand the stockpile, you have to be informed. Nobody in the press is informed. Nobody. You can tell by the childish questions reporters ask. Tim Pool is admitting that the Republicans were right about people gaming the system even during a pandemic. Tim said about himself, I'm a wishy-washy fence-sitter. But he changes his mind. That's all that matters. Progressives, on the other hand, insist on one-size-fits-all. It's a failed ideology. If the economy takes off like a rocket, what prevents closed businesses from reopening? You can bet that Trump is already twisting arms all over the country to allow that to happen. During the Great Depression, banks foreclosed and evicted. I seriously doubt that Trump will allow that to happen. Trump does almost everything under the radar. He'll never embarrass people publicly, unless they deserve it, like Nancy Pelosi. So, if you're going to interrupt my thread about apples to say something about cargo jets, Charles, be prepared for me to show the world how ignorant you are. I can find any information in seconds. But here's a rule of thumb. When it comes to Trump, disregard all criticism. I say that because unlike most living human beings, I've researched his mistakes and failures. Sure, I'm a rabid Trump supporter. But do you know this has never happened to me before? I'm not a people person. I'm a hermit who had withdrawn from society in the year 2000. It's not that I hated humanity, not at all. I just wasn't a part of it. And I never wished ill on anyone. I wasn't bitter, and I wasn't indifferent. It was just that I could no longer bear the stupidity and belligerence of my fellow humans. Trump changed all that. Now I care about all you miserable sons of bitches. I'm actually rooting for you, night and day. That makes me a rabid Trump supporter. He's not my leader. He's a member of my family. The only thing he cares about is improvement. He's the man who took on the world and won. Stephen Crane has a poem for all occasions. Once... I saw mountains angry and raged in battle front. Against them stood a little man. I, he was no bigger than my finger. I laughed and spoke to one near me. Will he prevail? Surely, 
replied this other. His grandfathers beat them many times. Then did I see much virtue in grandfathers, at least, for the little man who stood against the mountains. When you trust the trump, you let go of all your worries. He allowed us to dodge a bullet the size of a Saturn V rocket. But he sees no need to let us know. Most of us can't handle that sort of information.